This is your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm Jimenita Swain. The Bahamas Developers Association met with the Minister of Finance, Deputy Prime Minister the Honorable K. Peter Turnquist this week. The focus was to address its concerns about recent changes in the tax policy, this against the backdrop of more than $1 billion in real estate developments pending from Abaco to Exuma. Association officials say there was a grave concern among developers about a change in the ability to claim back costs on value-added tax returns when the budget took effect July 1st. Minister Turnquist and Financial Secretary Marlon Johnson agreed to amend the wording, which they said was an inadvertent, accidental oversight. In other business news, officials from the financial services sector challenged this week to effectively minimize, minimize risk in a highly regulated industry, protect the jurisdiction's reputation and meet compliance objectives head on. The warning coming as global regulators heightens its scrutiny of money laundering, terrorist financing and fraud. Nearly 150 compliance professionals attended the Bahamas Association of Compliance Officers, or BACO's, annual money laundering reporting officers' day at the British Colonial Hilton Hotel. BACO's president, Cheryl Brazard, said as money laundering reporting officers, their job is to ensure compliance with local laws and regulations through thorough control standards, processes, and programs. And in international business news, while announcing plans this week to increase its minimum wage for employees in the United States to $15, Amazon was also revealing that it will phase out its bonus and stock awards program for those hourly workers as well. Bloomberg first reported Amazon's proposed changes this week. However, Amazon insists that workers will make more money under the new system. In fact, it says all hourly workers, even if already making $15 an hour, We'll see a bump in their pay. Well, that was your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm Jiminita Swain.